Welcome, let's discuss the volume of a cone. Let's start by considering a cylinder where the base is a circle and the volume is divided into three equal sections. And notice that two out of these three sections have already been filled in with water. And this one third is empty. What would happen if we consider a cone that has the same radius as the circle that we have at the bottom of the cylinder? If we submerge this cone into the cylinder, notice that the section that was empty, now it's full as well. So now we have covered the full volume of the given cylinder. So if the cone covers one third of the volume of the cylinder, then we can say that the volume of a cone is one third of the volume of the cylinder, where the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times the height. And now we have developed a formula to find the volume of a cone. The volume of a cone will always be one third or the volume of the cylinder, which has the same area of the base as it is for the cone, as it is for the cylinder. Let's take a look at one example. So we have said that the volume of a cone is equivalent to one third to the volume of the cylinder. Let's concentrate on the area of the circle in our cone. The only thing that we need is the radius of the circle. But what we are given here is the diameter of the circle. So therefore the radius should be half of sig, which is three. So now we can find the area of the base, which is equivalent to pi times three square, which is nine pi centimeters square. What we need to figure out now, it is the height of this cone. What would happen if we draw a perpendicular line coming down from the center of the circle in the base. This vertical line can be seen as the height of this cone. Now that is the length that we need to find. But now we can think of this scenario as a right triangle. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height of this cone. So let's concentrate on the triangle. Where the vertical line, it's the height, where the upper side of this triangle, it is the radius of the circle, which is three centimeters. And the hypotenuse is this diagonal distance in our cone, which is of 25 centimeters. So now we will have three square plus the height square equals 25 square. Let's simplify this result. Three square is nine and 25 square is 625. Let's take away nine. So the height square is equal to 660. To solve for the height, let's take the square root. And let's approximate the square root of 616 to be of 24.81 centimeters. So now we have an approximation for the height of this cone. So knowing the height, we can just plug it into our formula and obtain the volume of this cone. where pi r squared, it is equivalent to nine pi. And the height, we have an approximation of 24.81. So now let's use our graphing calculator to approximate this value. So now we can say that the volume of this cone, it's approximately 233.82 centimeters cubed. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 